Email is still the number one marketing strategy for online marketing. And in this video, we're gonna look at some strategies for list building and getting your email strategy going or injecting some more life into it. Email can be an amazing marketing tool, but it doesn't work if you don't have people on your list. And it works better if you have more people on your list that you can email. So let's look a little bit at how you can actually start to build up your list. Now, if you're new at this, then one of the first things you're gonna be looking at is a selecting an email provider. Now, I'm not gonna go into all of the email providers. There's some great options out there. Uh, ConvertKit is excellent. If you haven't checked it out, recommend doing it, and we can compare it uh, and contrast it to other things like MailChimp or Aweber or even Infusionsoft. If you're looking for more info on that in comparison to some of the email providers out there, uh, check out the blog article below. Uh, that's gonna share some of that stuff with you as well. It also shares with you a whole bunch of stuff around actually building your list that is much more in depth than I can go into in a single video. But I am gonna share with you a few ideas here for actually building that list. And one of them is the concept of the lead magnet or the content upgrade as a very specific lead magnet and how that's working for us. Uh, another one is actually the format of what kind of emails you should be sending people out and what's really working there. So. The lead magnet, as many of you are aware, is just something that you're giving away for free in exchange for an email address. So you're getting a lead and this magnet here is attracting people to give you the email address. And one of my favorites is the content upgrade and that's where you are giving someone some content for free without asking for any currency and I count email as currency. So you're not asking for anything, they're coming, they're getting something for free. So that could be like this video that is free or the blog post that I link to below that is free. The content upgrade comes from they're reading the blog post uh, they're watching the video and you're offering something more in exchange for an email. And in fact, if you wanna see an example of this, the blog post below is free and then there's a content upgrade where you give me your email and I give you some more valuable content. Uh, and in that case, it's a checklist, a checklist of things for building your email list. So adding that extra value is very useful to people. They really appreciate it and it doesn't hit people over the head with a hammer as soon as they come to you. So if the first thing they see when they click on your ad, click on your video, show up on your site is give me your email, that tends to scare some people away and uh, affects your conversion rates. Now there's ways you can play with that with some opt-in forms and welcome mats and stuff, which we go into in some other videos. But for the purpose of this, looking at a lead magnet or a content upgrade, you wanna give away some good quality content for free and then ask for that email address. So you're building trust by sharing that quality content, then you're asking for the email address for that lead magnet or that uh, content upgrade. And typically that's something like a downloadable PDF uh, that would include something like a checklist. Uh, another thing that you can do is free courses or free trials of courses, and in fact with Thinkific, if you're using Thinkific for your products or your online information products or online courses, with something like our sales widget, you can automatically create this little plugin and drop it in to collect email addresses in exchange for anything from a full free course to an ebook to a download. Uh, it all works very well and you can just drop that right in to collect that information. So that's one way of doing it. Now, that's one way of starting to build your email list. There's a lot of other things you should be thinking about from who you're uh, using as your provider, how you're setting up your email flow, which I'll go into in a moment, uh, to uh, what kind of emails you're sending out, to your opt-in and whether you're doing uh, single or, or double opt-in forms, uh, con optimizing those forms for conversion, and then testing and testing and then finally, once you get those kind of things set up, a whole bunch of different ways of building traffic to come and join that list or check out what you have to offer. And in fact, all of that stuff in a huge amount of detail with a great guide we go into in the blog post that I linked to below. Uh, but one other thing I wanted to share with you right now is my flow for emails and, and kind of what I've done to welcome people and bring them in once they are joining that email list. For me, what I find works best is a lot of valuable content and very little uh, sales pitch. Now you do have to get that in there if you wanna make sales or you wanna actually convert people. Uh, but for me, I hit them with a very nice welcome email as soon as they sign up with just value add. Lots of great stuff for them. And each successive email after that, I am always adding value. Now there will be the sales pitches added in there at points, but generally I'm at least three to one 
pure value to sales pitch email. So at least those first three emails that they're getting from me are very much about adding value, giving them free resources, sending them a video, sending them an article I've written, and then working up to that sales pitch email. If they don't buy on that one, I'm back to the adding value for a long period of time. And that for me has worked really well with roughly that ratio of three to one value to pitch. Now, you can still include subtle pitches in some of those value emails, but people are always expecting it. So I find that when you send someone an email that has no pitch whatsoever in it, maybe not even a single link in it, people get thrown off a little bit. They start to think, maybe this isn't an automated email. Is this person writing me directly? They get a little bit more engaged and then they're much more interested when you send them that next email that potentially has a link or a pitch in it. So that's a strategy you might experiment with. Again, if you're looking for more information on building your list, setting it up, comparing providers, uh, and, and specifically going into how to build traffic and optimize uh, collection to build your email list, check out the blog post that we've linked to below. Uh, happy to share that information with you. And you can even see some examples uh, right there built into that post uh, in terms of what we're doing and, and how to do it. And if you're interested in creating your own online courses uh, that you can use your email list to uh, leverage for sales or conversions, uh, check out thinkific.com. You can sign up for free at thinkific.com and launch your own online courses today.